Hello everyone and good morning from Cincinnati, Ohio. Today we're at one of our favorite zoos in the country, the Cincinnati Zoo and Botanical Garden. And we came from Florida for one reason, pretty much. Uh, we want to go see Baby Fritz, the new hippopotamus who looks so cute. Mm -hmm. And it's one of our favorite zoos in the country anyway. And in this video, we're going to show you all around all the exhibits and all the animals. I go by the legend, joined by my wonderful girlfriend, Molly. I'm excited to see the updates since the last time we've been here. Yeah, and all the animals. I think we'll start the tour of the zoo here in the African section. And of course, the reason to start the tour in the African section is that is where you would find the zoo's most famous residence, as that's where Hippo Cove is, home to Fiona, the world's most famous hippopotamus. And then born August is little baby Fritz. Uh, there are four different hippos here at the Cincinnati Zoo, mom and dad, Tucker and Bibi, and then Fiona and Fritz, the kids. And it is just absolutely wonderful to watch these guys, you know, play and interact. It is, and then Fritz is just so dang cute. Look at that little guy. How cute is that? And the hippo enclosure is really, really nice. Lots of underwater viewing. Of course, with Fiona being there and now new baby Fritz, this is easily the most popular part of the zoo and something you probably want to hit early and often to make sure you see these hippos in action doing their thing. We spent probably a good hour out of our zoo day, at least, watching the hippos in Hippo Cove, and it was absolutely wonderful. One of the first things you get to in the African area is a wonderful plains exhibit, home to a variety of animals, including some kudu. There's a couple different viewing areas for the big African's plains area, and this one, we're pretty close to an ostrich. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. And there you can see the king of the jungle, the African lion. I like his way. He's not facing this direction. Yeah. He's having trouble breathing. I know, that's what he said. He's a nebulizer. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he's right over here. Yeah. Here you can see the beautiful, beautiful cheetah. Now, the zoo does a cheetah presentation and uh, where they would run the cheetahs. And it's pretty cool. If you have never seen a cheetah run before, it's pretty spectacular. Here it comes. So it's been a couple of years since I've seen the the show here, but man, I wish I would have seen it. We were distracted by baby Fritz, but now it includes ocelots, servals, a red river hog, and the African crested porcupine. It's quite a show. Of course, it wouldn't be an African section of a zoo without giraffes. I, I do like the giraffe enclosure here as well, as you can view them from ground level, and then you can go up there. You can feed them for a couple bucks, but you could also Kind of look them eye to eye, which is fun. Yeah. This area is home to the African painted dogs, who are all currently having a nap. These little fellows here are meerkats. Uh, those seem to be in a, a meerkat war. Oh no, oh my. That adorable animal. There's a red panda. Just came down from the tree. Uh, they have a lot here. I think they have at least uh, at least three. And they're so adorable. We are currently at Gibbon Island, and you can see a pair of them hanging out way up top. Now these guys are kind of located in the middle of the zoo, and they're also can be very loud. They're not vocalizing at the moment, but when they do, it is very very noticeable. Taking a look now at the Bennett's Wallaby. Uh, very, very adorable species of animal. Zip! Yep. We think. We think one of them is Zip, which is a, a social media superstar for the zoo. Uh, if you had been to the Cincinnati Zoo before, this is where they used to have Siegfried and Roy's white lions. Mm -hmm. I believe they did pass away, and now it is home to the Bennett's Wallabies. Oh man, they're taking the pigs on a walk around the zoo. Right nearby the front of the zoo, you can find the zoo's Asian elephants. This one seems to be enjoying a little bit of a meal. They have two out in the enclosure today. There you can see the absolutely beautiful and adorable Arctic fox. Very alert. Yeah. Having a drink of water down there is a little gray fox. Nice size enclosure here for the Mexican wolf. 
Now you can see the wolf from up here in Wolf Woods. Also, if you're over by the zebras, if you turn around, you might be able to see the wolves over there as well. Molly, this next exhibit is one for you, the tiger being one of your favorite animals. Yeah. It's Cat Canyon. First animal you get to in Cat Canyon is the mountain lion. Very pretty. Cooperates. Pretty good size enclosure for the Malayan tiger, who is way, way, way down there. Gonna have to use the super zoom to the fullest, and he just went behind a rock. <laughs> All right, here's a much better view of the Malayan tiger. There is a second tiger enclosure as well. Looks like this tiger is coming right out through the glass. Whoa, right now. Gorilla World is next. Also, that is like the, the most ingenious sponsorship. Sponsored by Gorilla Glue. Before you get to the gorillas, you do see some other monkeys. I want to say these guys are black and white Colobus monkeys, but I'm not positive. Turning the camera back on because they are indeed black and white Colobus monkeys. And from this angle, you'd see they have a lot of them. You can see the big male gorilla moving. And I love this, there's another one up on the perch. Yeah, I love this. Oh no, this is male and climbing. No, they're afraid. You thought about it. Yep, he's going to sit down there. And the other one moved. Uh, of course, you can't talk about the Cincinnati Zoo and gorillas. The first thing that comes to mind is, of course, the Harambe incident back in 2016. And they do reference that on their timeline. The zoo does have an absolutely wonderful indoor enclosure for the gorillas. And it is uh, one of the nicer indoor gorilla enclosures that I've ever seen. Very large, big giant trees and stuff to climb on. Right now we're in Rue Valley, which is the kangaroo enclosure here. A relatively new exhibit. This opened right after we visited back in 2020. And it is a walk around. Where obviously the kangaroos are free to roam around, the guests stay on the stone pathway. But I, I always like exhibits like this. Uh, we decided to come here right away and look at them hop around. They're so active and hoppy. The kangaroo enclosure is really great. I'm probably two, three feet from a kangaroo. The kangaroos aren't the only animals here in Rue Valley. There's also an enclosure for the little blue penguins, uh, a tiny, tiny species of penguins. Unfortunately, there is an avian flu going on right now, so the bird species are off exhibit, including the little blues, which is definitely a bummer for me. Uh, the exhibit I've seen on their social media is it's very, very nice, and the little blues are about that big. They're having a classic kangaroo fight. Oh. While they're not currently on exhibit, this is what the little blue penguins, their enclosure, looks like. It's a, a very large enclosure for the little blues. It's a very nice enclosure. Let's head into the Discovery Forest. There is not a ton in the Discovery Forest area, but it is where you would find the zoo's sloths. They've got two sloths, Mo and Lightning. I believe that one is Mo. And you can see a bongo looking right at us. Very pretty bongo. And there is a second one standing up over here. Hanging out over there is an okapi. He was just moving. I love okapi. They're so cool. Yeah, it's a very neat animal. You would think they're relatives to zebras, but nope, giraffes. Coming around over here is the Visayan warty pig. Posing very happily in the sun are the zoo's rhinoceros. Uh, a younger rhinoceros than an older one. Here's a trio of plain zebras. Uh, he's just eating. 
He's enjoying it. Now he's not. Yeah. 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 Mommy, come here. Get one from over here. Next up is the Spalding Children's Zoo. Here's the kookaburra who uh, just had a meal. Ah, uh, this is a treat. They are taking goats for a walk here at the Children's Zoo, just like you would a dog. One thing the Cincinnati Zoo does better than pretty much every zoo is social media. One of their superstars can be found here in the Children's Zoo, Rico the Brazilian Porcupine. That you can barely see right now. In the Children's Zoo area is the Palawan Bearcat. No surprise, there is a goat yard where you can come inside and play with goats. The next exhibit is dragons. I had to say it like that because it's got an exclamation point. Dragons! The first animal you get to in the dragons is good. It's really cool. It's an armadillo lizard. He's from like a very small sp a spot of South Africa. Very small. Yeah, and a new challenger approaches. A smaller one. Very interesting with the animal there is a blue tree monitor. Look at his like hands, his claws. It's such long. Doing the tongue thing is a lace monitor. That's awesome. Yeah. And the star of the show here at the dragons exhibit is of course the king of the dragons, the Komodo dragon, who is sleeping. Interesting that it shares its enclosure with a whole bunch of tiny birds. They're finches. They're really cute. Did not think they would be friends with a Komodo dragon. So you get a good shot of it because it's got a little colorful face, but they're very quick. No, but they're on his, uh, his boat. Oh, they jumped off. One more shot of the Komodo dragon, and it's just fascinating. The Tamora zebra finches just crawl all over the guy. All over. He doesn't care. No, he just. He's uh, deep, deep sleep. The next exhibit is Jungle Trails. The monkey! There is a very large enclosure for gibbons and orangutans. You can see the big male orangutan right there. There is an indoor section home to uh, the pygmy slow loris and along with a bunch of other animals, but it is very crowded in here. Quick shot here of the white-handed gibbon. There's a couple of bonobos on the hill. <laughs> Including a little baby bonobo. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. The Jungle Trails is a very big exhibit. There's now another indoor section home to bush babies and another potho. It's worth noting in some of these indoor areas in the Jungle Trails, very good from a thematic design standpoint. You can see a pair of sapacas in here. Very cool looking species of animal. One of my favorite exhibits here at the Cincinnati Zoo is Night Hunters. It's an indoor enclosure dedicated to all nocturnal animals. The first animal you get to in Night Hunters are a pair of tawny frogmouths. They're so cool. So small. Posing for us on top of the rock is a palace cat. It weighs 6.5 to 11 pounds. Of pure adorableness. This animal here is an art wolf. Not the best view, but resting on that log is a pair of bear cats. Makes sense the Cincinnati Zoo has bear cats, as that is the mascot of the University of Cincinnati. Hiding on top of the mountain is a black-footed cat. The sand cat is having a nap. Sleeping peacefully is the fennec fox. And that's how the species sleeps. They kind of put their nose underneath their tail. They're one of my favorites. So it is a bit dark, but you can see an aardvark. He's Playing with his bucket. Yeah, it's so cute. Pacing back and forth is the black footed cat. Heading on into the classic reptile house. The reptile house is a very small building, very old building. 
rather historical building, I believe, here. But they just did some refurbishments on the center where you can find the Chinese alligator. The boa constrictor is very active. And one last one for the reptile house. This is a Kintz monitor. It is time to go see the birds of the world. With the spread of avian flu, there are a lot of walkthrough aviaries in this area. Unfortunately, right now, those are closed. Hopefully, they'll reopen when things get better. Here, you can see a beautiful rhinoceros form bill. Now, my personal favorite reason to come into this building as well, they've got the birds from the Arctic. And most notably, the penguins. A couple different species of penguin in here. Uh, they give their penguins kind of fun names. So, like, in a lot of pun names. So, like, the king penguins will have king as their last name, like Burger King. Uh, my personal favorite is one of the rock hopper penguins is named Dwayne the Rock Hopper Penguin. <laughs> also, I want to mention with the penguins, uh, they normally, in the winter time, they'll do a penguin parade with some of the Antarctic penguins when the temperature is below a certain degree on like Saturdays and Sundays. I checked the zoo website, but it, that looks like something you wouldn't want to miss. And if you were looking for Dwayne the Rock Hopper Penguin, look for a blue wing band. They're sort of coming in. For the next stop, let's head on into the Manatee Springs building. Well, the name of the exhibit is Manatee Springs. There is a lot of other stuff in here. You begin in what's kind of like a rainforest area, which for us feels just like back home in Orlando, Florida. Actually feels nicer. Yeah. And there is an American alligator, a small one. This is the kind of size of alligator. Um, we don't live, like, we have to drive past a golf course and there's a big, I know, a big lake in the golf course. And uh, once a week we see an alligator this size on a drive to work. Or... I'd say a little bit bigger. Yeah. You then head into a more aquarium type area, home to an alligator snapping turtle. Posing beautifully right here, a green basilisk. Don't look in his eyes. How could you not? They're beautiful. That's a Harry Potter reference. Now the main star of the show in Manatee Springs as well, manatees, but right now there are no manatees. Uh, this is an area that rehabilitates manatees so they can be released right in the wild. And the three manatees that were in here have now, they're actually at SeaWorld Orlando right by us yeah. before they're going to get returned to the wild. And uh, I will say, one of the manatees has just the best manatee name I think I've ever seen. Swim Shady. Also, they have manatee benches that are just fantastic. The last animal you'll find at Manatee Springs is this massive Burmese python. He's so big. Yeah. They live in Florida. Well, that's horrifying. Molly... Ever Everglades, but. Okay, fine, fine, good. <laughs> I was gonna say we might be time to move. <laughs> Up next is the insect's house. He doesn't like insects, so I'm gonna show you around. Look at this scorpion. The insect house is pretty much what you expect. It's a lot of small little exhibits. So sometimes it is a line to see things. These guys are cool. They are giant water bugs. They have naked mole rats. My favorite exhibit is the leaf cutting ants. You can see them here on this log. It is in this exhibit. And then throughout the entire building, they have this tube that runs around where the ants can carry their leaves throughout the building. It's really, really neat and fascinating to watch. See, look at the ants go. Travel up and down the tube. And then at the end of the exhibit, you have to find the other leaf carrying ants exhibit. And it attaches from this one to the other one. So many ants moving 
back and forth between one enclosure to the other. For a couple of bucks, you can ride the carousel. You can ride on a shark. That's fun. It's located in the back of the zoo near the, uh, the food trucks. Oh, copy. We are visiting the Cincinnati Zoo on a Friday in October. It is very crowded today. It is. But one thing I like to see, the zoo is reinvesting in itself. They're not taking that money and doing who knows what with it. They're adding uh, multiple new areas to the zoo. If you've been here before, you might remember them having polar bears. Unfortunately, there are no polar bears anymore. So they're taking the polar bear enclosure and turning it into two different things. The lower area is gonna be Sea Otter Coast, home to sea otters. One of your favorite animals. Yes, indeed. And then up on the top is gonna to be Bear Ridge, which is gonna home, be home to black bears and possibly other North American species of bear. Also coming to the Cincinnati Zoo, this is a, a much bigger project and a much uh, farther out project. Uh, it, it might be one of the biggest things the zoo's ever done as far as expansions. It's gonna be home to the elephants. They're gonna move the elephants over here. Uh, a new expansion called Elephant Trek. I'm guessing 2024, but I'm not sure on the time frame. Over here by this lake, uh, there's more construction going on. They're gonna be building a new carousel over here. As I would assume the old carousel is probably where they're gonna enter into that brand new elephant trek area. We're visiting the zoo in mid-October, so they're not doing any of their shows, but they normally do a Wings of Wonder show during the warmer weather and a Barnyard Friends show as well in the children's zoo. Hey, Molly, what time is it? Uh, beer 30. Yes, they've got a really nice beer garden here, all local Cincinnati beers. Mm -hmm. We're drinking an Oh My Golden Ale. Mm -hmm. um, we've had a couple different specialty beers throughout the park. My favorite's been the, the Platform Open Market, which is a nice, it's a peach apricot white. And we're mm -hmm. also eating some cheese curds. My favorite, they looked delicious. Since we're here in the winter, the lemurs are not out at Lemur Lookout as they are native to the warm, warm weathers of Madagascar. Another newer exhibit here at the zoo is African Penguin Point. Unfortunately, off exhibit based on the avian flu. As you might expect, the merchandise at the Cincinnati Zoo is very good. I like the sip like Rico coffee mug. The magnets that say, eat, sleep, visit, Fiona, repeat. Look at the Fiona tote bag. That's cute. A very appropriate line of merchandise for the Cincinnati Bengals fan. They do have a couple of t-shirts for adorable baby fritz. And that'll do it for our visit to the Cincinnati Zoo and Botanical Gardens. Wonderful as always, one of our favorite zoos in the entire country. Uh, normally at this part of the video we ask about each other, what was our favorite animal we saw? But I think that's pretty easy. <laughs> the spunkiness of Fritz. Yeah, and seeing all the hippos over in Hippo Cove running around, that was absolutely fantastic. Uh, but I also love to see the zoo moving in the right direction. You know, it was a busy day at the zoo and there was tons of investment going on. You know, oh, yeah. new enclosures, new exhibits, new carousel, like really taking all that money they make and reinvesting in the zoo to make better enclosures for the animals, I think is really great. Uh, I, I definitely recommend the zoo. If you have any questions about the Cincinnati Zoo, let me know in the comments section below. And thank you very much for watching this video. If you guys didn't watch videos like this, Molly and I couldn't take random 48-hour trips up across the country to see a baby hippopotamus.